I don't have relationships with dead, frozen Chinamen. Best not to be glib at this time in the proceedings, Matthew. Don't bother looking for your Mossad crabs. This is a fish market. They have found a home. To be clear, I do not know that man. I'll tell you how this plays out. You will drown. And then my Mossad crabs will eat you. So while you were discussing who would take over my business after you fucked it, you somehow mistook so said Chinaman for someone else? Business is business. Michael, it's nothing personal. And while I am not emotional about the money, there is a price indebted to me for the blood I've gotten on my hands, restoring order to the untidiness that you created. And that price, according to you, 400 minus 130, is 270 million dollars. And I'm keeping the business. While you are getting in the freezer. And you will make that transaction if you want to get out of the freezer. It is 25 below zero in there, so I assume you'll last about an hour. That said, I wouldn't fuck about, because frostbite is very expensive on the fingers and toes, so I would type as quickly as possible while you have the use of them. After you've tended to that indiscretion, you can then deal with the next consequence of your short-sightedness. As stated, I am not emotional about the money. But I am emotional about the fact that someone laid their hands on my wife. My wife! No amount of money on God's green earth can pay for that transgression, Matthew. No, for that. I want a pound of flesh. A pound of flesh? It matters not to me where on your anatomy it is withdrawn from. If you don't have the stomach to take it for yourself, Big Bunny here is very adept with a knife, and as you can see, he's dressed for the weather. But a penny short or a gram shy, that freezer door does not open. Am I clear? Good. Bunny. Incoming. 